Genius for life. Coconut smoothies coming at you. Hello there. Welcome to 15 Minutes of Genius. I am your humble host, HH, Alex Baer, CEO and founder of Genius Juice, if you couldn't tell already with all the logos flying around here. We have an awesome guest. Uh, she is a senior brand manager of an amazing product that I actually have every single day and I pair it with almond butter. But we'll get into that later. First off, I'd like to make a big plug to Mark Nicholas, Mark N at ManhattanBeachStudios.net for all your editing desires. He is amazing. He can even edit squirrels and music videos if you really want him to. So for those that don't know the joke, you will know it soon. So uh, we have a, a great guest as mentioned. Uh, this is Amanda Sains. He is the she is the senior brand manager of Julie's, which is a one of the best dating uh, uh, products pretty much in the country right now. Delicious. I have it every day. <laughs> She is uh, head of marketing at Julie's. Julie's is a waking up, wait, Julie's is waking up a sleepy category offering organic medjool dates and organic date syrup in vibrant packaging and reinvigorating energy into ways people can enjoy these California superfood in their everyday lives. Julie's debuted at Expo West in 2019, so only a year old, and now is in yep. over a thousand locations. Really? Wow, in one year? <laughs> you guys have been busy. <laughs> It's on Amazon. It's on Target Market, and tar you said Target, right? It's another one. No, I said I'm tired. <laughs> oh, so you're tired. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's been a long year. And uh, industry veteran for seven years, studied public relations, sociology, earned her master's degree, integrated marketing and communications. She lives in South Bay, L.A. South Bay for life, yo. Hermosa Beach. Yeah. <laughs> I'm in Redondo, not too far from Manhattan Beach. So when she isn't obsessed over that Julie's dating life. She's adventuring outdoors, out in the water, and of course, appearing in music videos for friends as a squirrel. Amanda, how are you? <laughs> I am fantastic, Alex. It's so good to be here. <laughs> good to have you here. And uh, yeah, it's uh, it's amazing how, how fast this year has flown. A lot has happened. And uh, yeah, we just, we see each other all the time at trade shows. That hasn't happened for nine or 10 months. So it's everything's virtual, mm -hmm. everything's Zoom. So, uh, yeah, but really good to see you, your smiling face. I'm glad you're doing well, and Julie's is doing amazing. So let's roll Thank right you. into it. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> so let's roll right into it. So um, you have experience in the CPG industry. You have experience in sociology and marketing and all sorts of things. But tell us, how did you get into CPG in general, right? Like, I know it's probably mm -hmm. from a passion for food and beverage, but tell us more about your story of just getting involved and some other companies you've worked with in the past, and uh, mm -hmm. we'll just take it from there. Yeah, so it's actually interesting. I, when I graduated college, I went right into my master's degree, and I was at the same time working in the software industry. I was in software sales, and then I moved into sales operations, um, and kind of just like earning my first, you know, big career salary, but not loving it. And at the same time, my mom was diagnosed with cancer. And it was at that moment when I started to look at what my mom was consuming, you know, various health shakes that you can just get from the pharmaceutical aisle. I wasn't digging the ingredients that she was putting in her body when she was going through chemo. So I became passionate about nutrition, about health, about what I was putting in my body. Um, you know, at the time I was juicing and making my own almond butter and just really reading every single label. And that's when I discovered a product on the East Coast. It was an organic protein shake. And not only did I love it for myself, I knew that my mom could drink it in a substitute for what she was consuming. And then I became just an ambassador. I reached out to them. I just sent the founder an email and I was like, hey, you know, I'm getting my master's. Let me know how I can help in any way. Lo and behold, I was sneaking off on my lunch break doing demos in Whole Foods. And then, you know, on the weekends doing social media, I was going to CrossFit events, promoting the product. And next thing I know, I'm like doing operations and logistics and then going to Kroger calls. And it just really snowballed into this whole like operation sales marketing role, doing a ton of things and responsibilities that one person normally wouldn't be. But I just dove right in and I was so passionate about it. And that took me to, you know, working for other brands and eventually my 
my dive into the Julie's brand, but um, I just want to kind of close the whole cancer thing off. Unfortunately, my mom just passed away a couple months ago, mm. and I think that really just makes me more passionate about this whole industry and very proud to be in a place about wellness and health and nutrition because as a group, like everybody, we are here to help people live healthier lives. And I'm extremely passionate about that. And actually my dad passed away a year ago from a heart attack. So, you know, now it's just like my, my calling to help people live healthier lives through the food that we eat. Mm. I mean, it's such a emotional, emotional story and, <clears throat> and everything that you've been through. Right. I mean, it kind of chokes me up a little mm -hmm. bit as well, because like, you're, you're, you're such a strong individual and strong woman to go through <clears throat> these experiences, right? Where lo you lose your father, um, about a year ago, you, you lost your mom mm -hmm. this year. And, mm -hmm. you know, with how heartbreaking that is, it's like, you've been able to live, live through that and really overcome and come out, I think a stronger person on the other side and also feel even yeah. more impassioned and more driven to do what you're doing now, <clears throat> which is really certainly to help channeling. People. Exactly. Channeling that energy in ways to help other people. And I just always say also to like hug your friends and family a little bit harder, especially in terms of like social distance hangouts, just make sure you put in the time. Um, you know, we're all workhorses around here, but <laughs> it's, it's important to like have a focus on the mission and also, you know, know when to have time with your loved ones. Exactly. And that's really a big thing, right, is time with loved ones, um, taking care of ourselves. I mean, it's really, it's uh, mm -hmm. very, very crucial. I mean, I've had friends that have died young, you know, um, luckily, knock on wood, you know, my family is, is doing well. But like, you know, I've had friends that have passed away in their early 30s, you know, that were overweight oh, or wow. obese. Yeah, I had one friend yeah. that was, I used to play basketball with him, and he would just steamroll me I and mean, he was that big like he would back into me <laughs> and i you know i weigh 165 Alex. he weighed he weighed 280 or 300 pounds and it was so easy he just he just rolled right over me and then like slam dunked it you know but he he had yeah he had cancer um he had diabetes and he passed away at a very young age you know about four years ago you know i think he was 32 or 33 mm -hmm. so it just these are examples these are reminders on how we really have to take care of ourselves. So it's so crucial. Mm -hmm. And and with, with Julie's, like with how clean this product is and getting into your brand, it's the cleanest mm -hmm. product you can get because it's organic dates that are fresh from the trees. I've seen your videos yep. on Instagram where you go out to, I think it's Co <laughs> Coachella, Indio. Coachella, right? yeah. Yeah. Indio, so, yep. Yeah, so tell us more about the story with Julie's and the dates, the, 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 the harvesting, <laughs> Um, tell us about also the play on words you do in your branding with date and dating. And I love all that and how you tie yeah. that into the product. Tell us more about Julie's and where you are now in distribution. Well, I just think it's really amazing that dates are grown on palm trees and, you know, between the palm tree, the California vibes and, um, the dating puns, you know, the puns keep me up at night. It's pretty crazy. <laughs> but, you know, when I was kind of introduced to this opportunity, I was like, dates? Grandmas eat dates. Like, I don't, I don't know anyone. I'm an East Coaster. I don't know anyone that eats dates. But then, you know, the co-founders were like, absolutely. Well, that's, that's the thing. Like, we don't even have a logo yet. We don't have packaging, but we've got a farm and we've got all these amazing pieces of fruit. And, you know, dates are already in all these nutrition bars. And why don't, you know, why don't we just, you know, educate people to eat the whole fruit? And, you know, given that opportunity and, to work in such a team with great mentors and seasoned veterans, you know, from the wonderful company and um, just great people all around. I couldn't turn down the offer. And, you know, when I joined, we didn't have a logo, we didn't have a packaging and we all, you know, we worked with an agency to come up with a visual identity, but this, I actually have a box, uh, this package, you know, we designed it to be like a VHS tape because going back to that whole notion of, you know, grandma's eat dates right it's right. kind of like nostalgic vintage, and we're trying yes. to like re yeah vintage exactly so we're just trying to like reinvigorate some vibrancy into this and you know have the palm trees on the side of the package 
when you're eating dates, it's like you're hand picking them from our farm because they're actually put in trays that look like this. Mm -hmm. So we just kind of try to tie in the whole farming story, but with like millennial brand catnip that like people want to just throw on Instagram immediately the second they see it. That's awesome. And I, I definitely love like how also, cause I buy the whole dates, the ones that have the seeds in it. I just, mm -hmm. I just love the mm -hmm. experience better than the seedless ones. It's my personal preference. There's also like a little hole mm -hmm. where you put the seeds in, like when you're done. <laughs> yeah. I, lo I love that too. Like it's, yeah, we say it's just clever. It's just clever. Plant pits here. <laughs> exactly. So very clever. Like the branding was really well thought out. The nostalgia, the vintageness, the, the, the psychology of like something that's really homegrown and, and artisanally made and like small batches. You, oh, you get that entire feeling and vibe when you have a Julie's date and when you have the packs and I, mm -hmm. and I know you guys have the smaller packs now as well, which are like more of the to go packs. Mm -hmm. So, um, tell mm -hmm. us about, um, distribution and also just the market because before Julie's came out, there was really no one else that had, it was really putting a lot behind dates. There's all these like old brands, right. sleepy category. <laughs> so Julie's is really mixing it up. What's really, what does the next year look like in 2021? to further that and how do you plan to continue differentiating and then what's on the horizon for like distribution for 2021? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So going back to where we started, we've always been digitally native. We launched on Amazon. Thrive Market was a great partner to kind of take a chance on us in the early beginning that really helped us, you know, kind of catapult the brand into the market, you know, kind of awareness. And then, um, Erewhon, of course, is where gotta all LA Erewhon. brands want to be. Yep. Yeah. Gotta love Erewhon. They took a chance on us. And then once we got into Erewhon, it was Whole Foods and Wake Fern on the East coast took a chance on us early. And then, um, you know, in the dates are actually considered in the produce aisle. So it's a lot quicker of a, um, you know, on shelf timeline, then, you know, you know, you know, in the beverage set, that's where I come from. It could take six to nine to 12 months in the produce aisle it could be three months or six months. So that's how we've been very fortunate to get in so quickly. Um, but yeah, we're in the Albertsons, Vons, Pavilions division. We just got into Raley's and three Whole Foods divisions right now. Nice. So, you know, we want to we want to continue to drive velocity and have our selling story super strong, uh, you know, bringing incremental value to the category. You know, you mentioned those players that are, you know, they've been out there. They did a great job of selling dates in a plastic tub. But I have to be honest, when I was doing my own market research and I would go to Vons and I, I would go in with the mission of like, OK, I'm going to buy dates today so I can go look at the packaging. I couldn't find it. And that is kind of what really invigorated us like if i if i am looking for the dates but i can't find it it's in a plastic brown tub like on the ground somewhere mm -hmm. i that is what inspired us to have such a vibrant packaging because dates are kind of like an unsung hero people eat dates all the time they just don't even want to talk about it or admit it um but as you said like dates with <laughs> almond butter is kind of the way to go so um yeah that is kind of the this the story that we tell retailers like you know we actually had a retailer tell us, I need another date product, like I need a hole in the head. That's because the date set wasn't bringing him money, you know, and he was tired of managing it. So here comes Julie's. We're really trying to wake up not just, you know, Julie's, but we're trying to wake up the entire category and the entire produce aisle and bring more consumers to the category. Exactly. Very, very well said. I think in, in, in your case, like in Julie's case, it's really invention is the mother of necessity right like people don't know what they want <laughs> until it's actually there yeah um whether it's steve jobs whether it's you know elon musk with tesla i know i'm putting julie's in this category with tesla and <laughs> oh my you know, god and apple <laughs> so i'm just i'm elevating it here but man like you know where when you have dates that literally like the packaging is great it's easy to find like when I go to my local Vons, like I walk in and there's a whole display, like in a, there's like a box display, <laughs> really colorful. I think you are bringing a lot more value to that category where uh, buyers are now like, this is becoming a bigger category because of brands like Julie's. Mm -hmm. So so let's, uh, we're gonna shift gears to music videos. <laughs> and for those that oh, don't- God. For those that don't know, um, and I know I think we, we're going to, in a second, roll a video, but we did a music video. <laughs> it's hard to say without laughing here. 
We did a music <laughs> video for Genius Juice, okay? And it was on our crowdfunding A year ago. Campaign. It was about a year ago. It was literally exactly, I think it was December 11th or 12th. It was like, yeah, yeah it was like a it, year ago. Yeah, it was a year ago. Back when people used to get together in public. And um, we did a music video and it was unscripted. It had, we had the genius people, you know, with the wigs. And then we're thinking like, we need a character that's in nature, a character that's with a lot of energy that moves around a lot and also has a nut, like coconut, like nut. And we're like, squirrel. <laughs> and who can play the squirrel? Amanda. And so like, I remember I, tec I texted I remember. you. Yeah. <laughs> Go ahead. The, yeah. you, you texted me, I was actually at the BevNet Nosh conference and hey guys, and I, like, you were like, hey, can you show up to PV Park and like just whatever tomorrow morning at 7 a.m.? I was like, yeah, <laughs> sure, no problem. No hesitation. No at idea all. what I was getting into. <laughs> yeah, no, no one else, like, no, if someone got that text the next day, next morning, got to show up as a squirrel, everyone would say no. You said yes. So I give you a lot of credit <laughs> for that. You're crazy enough to do it, but it worked out really well. Let's play a quick, a, a, a quick clip of you in our video. So, Mark, let's roll. Oh, God. Coming down the street, drinking a genius juice. The coconut water and the coconut <laughs> meat. I know that. I know that song by heart. By the way. When when we did the, as you know, I wasn't actually singing in the video, right? It was all lip sync. I didn't know half the lyrics because we produced that song a few days earlier. Now I know it by heart all the way through. But anyway, the squirrel in the video was you. I, I really appreciate you doing it. Um, yeah, it was awesome. And we still, we, it's on. It it's was on, a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun. We're, it's on YouTube. It's on YouTube. Type in Genius Juice rap song. It's gotten hundreds of views. And <laughs> I think it's probably better for us. It's got hundreds and not thousands, you know, because it's, I feel a little <laughs> embarrassed the way I'm dressed, the way everyone's dressed. But anyway, it was fun. Oh, it was, it was a blast, Alex. I had so much fun doing that. <laughs> yeah. Thank you again. And I owe you I'm one. Channel one, my inner, inner squirrel. Inner squirrel. That's, I, and honestly, we're going to do, <laughs> that leads me to our next segment here which is, and one of the questions is about spear and animals, which is going to be squirrel, mm. rapid fire questions. <laughs> ah. Rapid fire questions. <laughs> this is new. This is new. And we have not aired an episode oh yet where we have it. So, uh, so this is brand new. Here Sweating. we go. So one minute or less, <laughs> bunch of questions. I'm going to take one question off. I'm going to leave it on there even though I already know what the answer is. All right, here we go. NSYNC or Backstreet okay. Boys? Oh God, Backstreet Boys. First thing you do when you wake up. <laughs> oh, I hate to say it, check my phone. That's awful. <laughs> We've had two others, including Michael Pan of Pan's Mushroom Jerky. He's like, check my phone. <sighs> so, movie... And then I work out. So how about that? <laughs> yeah, working out. There you go. Yeah. So movie yeah. you can watch in a limited amount of times. Oh my goodness. Okay. Um, you caught me because I'm not a big movie person. Just but say I'm like gonna Forrest just... Gump or something. Do... Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, Forrest Gump. Forrest Gump. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a movie person. Yeah. Joking. Song you can listen to an unlimited amount of times. You're a music person, right? So. And you can't say the so genius it's juice funny rap song. I... <laughs> <laughs> I will say this because I only heard it today on Instagram. Somebody like used it for one of their reels. And I'm, I haven't listened to OAR in forever, but when I heard it today, OAR, Crazy Game of Poker, just that like opening riff was super fun. So um, it's timeless. There you go. It took me back to high school. All right. So favorite national park? Well, I will have to say Grand Canyon because I've been in it. I've done rim to rim to rim. Very cool. What is your favorite spirit? What is your spirit animal? Squirrel has to be. Window seat or aisle seat? We really got seat? the sounds down. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Window seat. Yeah. Window seat. A thousand percent. Peanut butter or almond butter. Peanut butter. Cold weather or hot weather. Hot weather. Cold brew or hot coffee. Cold brew. LeBron James or MJ. Oh God. <laughs> LeBron. I knew it. Because you're from a different generation. I freaking knew it. I knew you were going to say that. So ginger or turmeric? I'm not mad. I'm just saying. Ginger or turmeric? Ginger. 
Favorite food or drink if you're stuck on a deserted island and you cannot say Julie's and you cannot say Genius Juice? <laughs> um, food or drink, just uh, LaCroix, like a sparkling water. There you go. I'm sure there's like LaCroix factories Sorry, on the island somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> so, All right. So that is rapid fire questions. Thanks so, so much for being a part of it. Uh, the guinea oh, pig in this, right? Letting... That you're one of the first to, to do it. So. Um, yeah, so I guess uh, that is the episode. We are out of time, but again, really uh, awesome having you on the show, Amanda. And uh, you know, safe travels and uh, during the holidays. And uh, again, Julie's is kicking ass, and I'm sure we'll continue to do that in 2021. So, thank you for joining us. Thanks so much, Alex. All I had right. so much fun. Happy holidays. You too. All right, so that is episode 31 of 15 Minutes of Genius. That is Amanda Sane. She's the head of marketing at Julie's Dates, uh, dating at a store near you, I'm sure. And uh, yeah, so a big plug again to Mark Nicholas, Mark and Manhattan Beach Studios .net for all your editing desires. He is the man. He is the genius of editing and everything you need. So uh, make sure to reach out to him. Um, so uh, again, episode 31, Fitz is a genius. Thank you again. And one last thing, stay squirrel and stay genius, my friends. Genius for life. Coconut smoothies coming at you.